Okay, this is going to show you how to record multiple tracks or audio tracks and add effects to them and then consolidate them into one MP3. You're going to need two separate programs to do this, and one is Cool Edit Pro for the effects, and Reaper is for the multiple track recording. And the example file or the example song that we're going to use is an Opeth song, and it's got two separate guitar tracks. I'll go ahead and play it for you. It's going to hit, it's recording through my microphone, so of course it's not going to sound um, as clear as it should, but here it is. So you can hear that there's two separate guitar tracks here. So we're going to go ahead and open up Reaper. And when you open up Reaper, uh, you can basically just drag in the song that you want to try to cover. If you want to play along with something, obviously you don't have to. You can record two separate tracks on your own. But for our case, uh, we'll use Opeth here. And I'll hit Control-T twice to add two separate tracks. I'll click this AR for arm for record and when you click this it's going to allow you of course to record on this particular track here um, and also when Reaper records it's going to play every other track that's um, on display right there so you're going to want to use headphones here because otherwise when you click record it's going to be recording your guitar or whatever as well as whatever's coming out of the speaker which you don't want so I'm going to go ahead and put on my headphones now and I will click record and then just go ahead and play one of the guitar tracks. Go ahead and hit stop. And let's say I didn't like that. I can hit delete all and then uh, say OK there and we'll go ahead and try again. Well that one I definitely didn't want. So delete all, OK, and delete. sounds about right so we'll hit save all on that I'm gonna go ahead and take the arm for record off on that and then select it again down here and I'm gonna record the second track again that didn't quite come out right delete all okay stop save all and I can pretty much just go ahead and go up here to the top and hit delete um, and just get rid of that and now we can just hear what I've done here so I can take off the headphones so you can get an idea okay and I'll go ahead and hit file consolidate export tracks entire project all tracks mp3 maximum bit rate it's going to go to the desktop so here are the two mp3s here and then in the next video I'm going to show you how to put those into Cool Edit Pro add effects to them and then we'll get them back out and then put them into one mp3 alright so now that we have the files um, the separate tracks from Reaper exported right there we can go ahead and add the effects in Cool Edit Pro. Now I've already done a preset for the effects and you may or may not even like the effects that I've picked. You can pick different things, that's the whole point. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag both of these files in here. They're separate tracks, so they're going in as separate tracks. And I can hear it just to see what I've done here. Okay, and there's this little FX button right here. So I'm gonna click on that and you can go down through here there's delay effects and filters and equalizers and all this sort of stuff and you can mess around with this stuff all day I have picked something that I've saved um, that uses the quick verb the reverb and the graphic equalizer and there's your quick verb and reverb are both under delay effects and your graphic equalizer is under filters um, so I'll go ahead and click OK on that and just so you can see the settings, um, I'll click on FX again. And on the quick verb, I've got it set as ethereal, reverb, vocal, natural reverb, and then the graphic EQ. I've just screwed around with this thing a whole lot. Who knows if that even makes sense what I've done here. But, okay. For the next one, we also need to have effects on this one. So I'll click on effects again. And I can actually, I'll just show you how it works. Um, I can just 
quick verb, and reverb, and let's say I don't even want to add a EQ like the other one, that's fine. So I'll just hit OK, and you can mess around with these and change them to make them however you want. But there's a quick verb, it's automatically set to ethereal, reverb automatically set to natural reverb, and let's just hear what we have so far. Sounds better. Is it the best thing? I don't know. There might be some other setting in there that sounds even better, but it definitely sounds better than the original recording that we did without any effects whatsoever. Now, in order to get this out of Cool Edit, because you can't save anything right now, um, you've got to record this back into Reaper, and Reaper can save for eternity. So, I have to stop the video here, and then I will explain what I've done in the very next video. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the files from Cool Edit and we're going to play into Reaper as what you hear. So we need to change the recording source from the microphone to what you hear. And you can see that I'm doing that right there. And we'll go ahead and create a track and arm that for recording. And of course, it's going to be what you hear. And then we're going to play the audio files from Cool Edit Pro into Reaper. And of course, after the f the file's done, we're going to split the silence from the you know obviously the delay from clicking record and then going over to Cool Edit Pro and hitting start. There's going to be some silence, so we need to split um, that sound file right at the very beginning. And you can right click and it's down there at the bottom where it says S to split that item and you can just highlight it, delete it, just hit the delete key and then take the other part of the file or the other part of the audio track and then just drag it all the way to the beginning and we're gonna go ahead file and then render and then we're gonna make sure that it's just an mp3 that we're changing it to and it will be that one file and then at the very end of that it will be done. So we'll just wait for that. 